Complex Traffic Systems is a company in Arizona that manufactures, installs, and services stoplight surveillance cameras across the U.S. More and more cities are getting these cameras, even though there's debate about whether or not they actually do anything other than promote surveillance and act as a cash cow to local authorities through fining drivers. And Redflex is one of the big players in the market. Last year, the company was embroiled in a $2 million bribery scheme in Chicago. The company was bribing local officials to install the cameras there. Redflex's top national salesman, Aaron Rosenberg, was fired in the midst of the scandal. Now, he's involved in a civil defamation case against his ex-employer, saying he was a scapegoat for Redflex's pervasive bribery practices. And he just came out and said that bribery was unequivocally par for the course for Redflex. He said that the company doled out bribes and gifts at dozens of municipalities in 13 states. That the company encourages bribes on a regular basis. He's now cooperating in an ongoing federal investigation. He submitted emails and other evidence to show that the company paid for steak dinners, travel expenses, lavish hotel stays, gifts, and other crap for government officials all over the country, encouraging them to vote yes on installing Red Flex surveillance cameras. That could be why so many cities are getting these stupid cameras, despite a lot of evidence that shows they do nothing for safety and only serve to fine drivers, often wrongfully. Seriously, in New Orleans, the Jefferson Parish Council has voted to reimburse 180,000 drivers who paid $110 fines from the Red Flex cameras. That's how fed up they are with the company. The bribery might also explain why small towns like Tonawanda, New York, are considering installing Red Flex cameras, even though they only have about 15,000 people and about 100 stoplights total in the whole town. So yeah, there's a lot of evidence mounting that Red Flex traffic systems has been bribing cities everywhere into becoming part of the surveillance state. But as Rosenberg continues to blow the whistle against them, hopefully their reign of surveillance will be quelled. And they'll be the ones finally facing fines. Or hopefully, even worse. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.